Hi blog readers, it's Vanessa here and I have another invitation video for you. It's been a while and I have a lot saved up over the year and wanted to show them to you. I'm going to go through them a little faster than normal because I have so many. But we'll start with Macy and Jarrett's program. It's really neat, it has a tree theme. I like the twine binding. And it's got the kind of the normal program stuff and then I especially like back here the songs that they had included during the ceremony. They wrote reasons why the songs were special to them. And I think that's a nice touch to make it a more personal ceremony. And here's their invitation. Again with the tree theme, although it's in a different style. And I really love the fonts that they used. And I like the colors together. The brown and the green are neat too. So it's creative. And this is Brian and Jess's invitation. They were the ones that had the all super eight wedding in Austin. You may have seen their highlights. I really like how it says, please deliver to instead of just the address. And then back here is their return address, which is kind of cool. And there's the invitation. Pretty neat, huh? It's got this wrapping. And so you just kind of pull the things out or you can pull the wrapping off I guess however you want to do it here's their so this is their wedding website card and then this is their reply card and then this is the actual invitation which is you know custom calligraphy I think it's super cool and it's really neat to have white on a darker background versus white background with the darker font and it's got kind of a watercolor look to it which is really cool and then here's their program nice and simple and clean good paper stock and then their menu all with the kind of the same calligraphy style just changing up all the colors and stuff good food and this was Hannah's wedding. Very neat. First of all, this is the inside of the envelope. And then here's the invitations. The tissue. Here's the reply card. And this is um, letterpress. Isn't that neat? They've got their initials. And it's just got kind of an old world feel, but on the other hand, it's a really modern invitation. So I think that's kind of a neat contrast. Like these dots are very modern and this border is modern, but it's a pretty elaborate font for the names and everything. Very cool. And then here's their program. Same monogram there at the top. It's just kind of a really, you know, such an old school scripty font, but it's not an old school program. I like that. This is Megan and Mitch's inner envelope. And here's the invitation with the red theme and their name, their initials there. Two layers, and this is a kind of a shimmery paper. And then the coordinating reply card. It's very cute. And this is Jenna and Blake's invitation. Big um, shimmery envelope, custom stamp. Here's the map of the wedding events with the little birdcage theme tied in. And their reply card. So they had kind of the bird thing and the bird cage theme. Envelope to the reply card. And then this is interesting. It's kind of a bifold little holder kind of thing. And then the invitation, it's very nice. It's got three layers and this is like a floral motif back here. And then a shimmery darker gray and then a lighter Kind of taupe shimmer with the tree and all the details the bird cage the verse and the actual invitation very nice really heavy thick feel 
ties in with the colors and the theme of the day really well. This is from Heather and Dave. They got married in Seattle. Love the handwriting. And then this is a neat return stamp. Yeah. And this is their invitation. Really simple and kind of reserved, but really sophisticated and clean, neat colors. Love the subtle, it's like a quiet tree motif. It's very quiet. It's great. And this was their second wedding. They got married on the beach. Uh, Dave proposed to Heather and then she said yes and then they walked down the beach and he had a wedding set up for her. And they got married, it was pretty cool. So, and then a year later they had a fancier wedding in Seattle. This is the details. This, Cause it was a destination wedding for everyone. Everyone was from Chicago and Canada. And then the reply card with the tree theme tied throughout. This is Lydia and Tim's invitation. I like the stamp on the front, it's cute. And this is really special. Um, their friend, Sherry Dupree of Isley fame, drew this drawing and they had it printed on vellum and tied on to this back piece. So there's an invitation. And then the vellum lays on top. I think that's so cute. And then the pretty colored of the ribbon. The ribbon looks like antique ribbon. And then the reception insert and the reply card, postcard. So all these people are definitely putting their own touches on all of their invitations. And this is the last one. I adore hand calligraphy. It's very classic and it's just, there's something about it that to me is like so pleasing to the eye to see. And I, when I got this in the mail, I was like, oh, I love seeing my name in calligraphy. There's just something about it. Um, there's my name again. <laughs> The lining on the envelope's really neat. It's shimmery also. And here's the reply card. This is letter pressed. Oh, this map is really cool. It's kind of like a old parchment feel to it. And um, it's a map of the Baltimore area and with the wedding events keyed on to kind of give you an idea where to go. Neat border on there. It has a very hand drawn feel to it. It's really special. And then here's the invitation. I like the edge. It's kind of a damask um, imprint there. And then just a kind of, it's kind of a soft navy colored font with a really pretty font style and uh, it's just nice. So her colors were this kind of gray color, gray blue, and then the golden yellow. So I love how she tied all that in with the invitations. So those are some neat ones from this year for you. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it inspires you when you make your own invitations to uh, do something fun. You don't have to do something expensive, but it's neat to kind of do something that's special. Um, so thanks for uh, coming to the blog and see you here again soon. Bye. And if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to hit the like button.